Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dr. Samuel Math. I am Dr. Samuel. This is the last video on solving linear equations. And today we will look at solving these equations involving fractions. Let us go through the examples. In the first example, we have to solve x over 2 equal 6. We are dividing x by 2 and the answer equal 6. In order to get x on the left side alone, we will have to multiply both sides by 2. And therefore, x over 2 multiplied by 2 will give you x. And 6 times 2 is 12. So we'll be left with x equals 12. And that is the answer for x. We can check and see but that x 12, if x is 12, 12 divided by 2 is 6. So you know you are correct. In the second example, we have x over 4 plus 1 equals 9. So we'll first subtract 1 from both sides. We'll be left with x over 4 equals 9 minus 1 is 8. And then we just multiply by 4 on both sides to get x alone on the left side. So we'll have x equals 8 times 4 is 32. And that is the answer. Let's go move on. For number 3, we have x minus 9 over 4, all over 4, equals negative 2. So we'll first have to get rid of that 4 on the left side by multiplying both sides by 4. So we'll have x minus 9 over 4. We'll multiply by 4. And that equals minus 2 times 4. The 4s will cancel out on the left side. So you'll be left with x minus 9. And on the right side, minus 2 times 4 is a negative 8. So now we simply add the 9 to both sides. And we will get the answer as x equals 9 minus 8 is 1. That is the answer. Let's move on to number 4. For x plus 2 over 6 equal 5, we'll first multiply both sides by 6. So for x plus 2 over 6 multiply by 6 equals 5 times 6. The 6 is cancelled out on the left side. So we are left with 4x plus 2 equals 5 times 6, which is 30. So we take away 2 on both sides. So we'll be left with 4x on the left side equals 32 minus 2 is 28. And to get x, we divide by 4 on both sides. And so on the left side, you get x. And on the right side, 28 divided by 4 is 7. So x is equal to 7. Let's continue. For number 5, we have 9 minus x divided by 2 equals x plus 3. 
So we'll multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the 2 on the left side. So we have 9 minus x over 2 multiplied by 2 equals, we multiply 2 times x plus 3. So we must put the x plus 3 in a bracket. So on the left side, the 2s will cancel out. We'll be left with 9 minus x equals, take out the bracket, 2x plus times 3 is 6. So we want to bring over the 2x. So we take away 2x on both sides. So we'll take away 2x on this side and take away 2x on this side. And we want to subtract 9 from both sides. So we'll to get rid of the 9 on the left side. So we subtract 9 here. And we subtract 9 here. When we do that, minus x minus 2x is a negative 3x. Note the 9 minus 9 is nothing. Equal 2x minus 2x is nothing. And 6 minus 9 is a negative 3. We divide both sides by negative 3. And so we have negative 3x over negative 3 equals negative 3 over negative 3, which is x equals 1. And that's the answer. Let's move to number 6. We have for number 6, we have x plus 3 over 2 plus x plus 1 over 4 equals 10. Now, when you have that situation, the best thing to do is find the lowest common multiple of 2 and 4. And that will be 4. So you bring in both fractions, well, all the fractions to a denominator of 4. So x plus 3 over 2 will become 2 into 4 is 2. So we multiply 2 times x plus 3 plus 4 into 4 is 1. And 1 times x plus 1 is x plus 1. And we bring the 10 to a denominator 4 as well. So we multiply 4 times 10. We get 40 over 10. So the denominator 4 is on both sides, so we can just leave it out and work out the top equation. So let us take out the bracket on top. 2 times x is 2x. Two, 2 times 3 is a plus 6 plus x plus 1 equal 40. So we no longer have fractions. We can just solve this equation. So we can subtract 6 and subtract 1 from the left side, which means we are subtracting 7 in all from both sides. So we remain 2x plus x is 3x. 6 minus 6 is nothing. 1 minus 1 is nothing. And so 3x equals 40 minus 7, which is 33. And we divide both sides by 3. And we're going to get x equals 11. And that is the answer. Let's look at one more question. For number 7, we have 2x minus 5 over 7 minus 2x minus 1 over 2 equals 3. And so as we did for number 6, we find the LCM of the denominators. LCM of 7 and 2 is 14. So we bring everything to a denominator of 14. 
So the first fraction, 7 into 14 is 2. So we multiply 2 times 2x minus 5 minus 2 into 14 is 7. So we multiply 7 times 2x minus 1 equals 3 times 14 is 42. So 3 becomes 42 over 14. So we leave out the 14 because it's on both sides of the equation and take out the brackets in the top equation. 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times a minus 5 is a negative 10. Minus 7 times 2 is a minus 14x. Minus 7 times a minus 1 is a plus 7, and that equals 42. So we can add 10 to the left side to get rid of the 10, and we can take away 7 from the left side to get rid of the 7. So we are adding, we are adding 3, 10 minus 7 is 3, so we add 3 to the right side. On the left side, 4x minus 14x, that's a minus 10x. 10 minus 10 is nothing, and 7 minus 7 is nothing. So 10x equals 42 plus 3, which is 45. So we divide both sides by a negative 10. To get x equals negative 45 over 10 is 4.5. And that is the answer. And that is simple equations. So from the next video, we'll be moving to look at simultaneous equations. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel by pressing the button below. Also, you can press the notification bell and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in the next video.